So, Prince William and Kate Middleton are shaken and devastated. Hey guys, it's Murad Morali. Hopefully you guys are all doing well today. Back again with another video. If you have not subscribed, click that button. It is daily and consistent content. Comment down below. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. It's just one click. Send a super thanks if you guys wish to. They go a long way because I'm rapidly producing a lot of content for you guys. The narratives, the stories, everything is developing fast. And also whilst I'm fasting at 5 a.m. William and Kate, reported by Mail Online, are said to be shaken and devastated at the speculation about their marriage on social media and could address the Princess of Wales' health condition at public engagements next month, her close friends have said. Princess Kate has not made an official public appearance since she underwent major surgery on January 16th, leading to a growth of tsunami or speculation. Despite this tumultuous few weeks for the royal family, it is expected that Kate and William will be upholding the tradition of releasing a new photograph to mark their children's birthday, the next being Prince Louis on April 23rd. They may use it as an opportunity now to speak about her health, it has been reported. They are at their most open when out interacting with members of the public, members of the public, sorry, and I can see a world in which the princess might discuss her recovery out on engagements, a source told the Sunday Times. If she was going to do it, that's how she would do it. They appreciate the public's love and affection for their children and know that this is what they want to do. The Sunday Times quoted a friend as saying, they will want to be clear and more open, but they'll do it when they feel ready. I would expect that to be her instinct and it will be her call. They're not going to be rushed. A source close to Kate claimed all she intended to do was bring a bit of joy and release a reassuring image to thank the public. The princess is not expected to return to frontline duties until April 17th. Another friend insisted that it was just someone trying to project the polished image that the public has come to expect. It's a photo that she knew everyone would pour over, so she poured over it herself. She likes trying to make the family look the best they can. Earlier this week, Kate made the unexpected decision to publicly take responsibility. A friend and advisor to the couple said that Kate's only mistake was not telling her team that she had edited the photos. But she came out and said sorry. The photo was a misstep. Even with something as innocent as that, you should disclose altering it. Now sources within the royal circle are warning of the negative effect rumours may be having on the future queen as she recovers. One insider said, I worry about all this intention on Catherine. She did not look happy at all in the car on Monday. Kate was seen in the back seat of a car with her husband as he left Windsor. The male understands she was en route for a private appointment. Despite calls for the original image to be published, Kensington Palace insisted it would not be reissuing the unedited photograph. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Royal commentator Jenny Bond suggested Kate must feel under intense pressure now whenever she's going to be seen in public after her major surgery. Interesting. Interesting indeed that they're going to be, you know, now suddenly speaking out, um, which to me is just very bizarre. Very bizarre. Kate Middleton also attacks picture agencies like AP and Reuters who flagged her fake photos as hypocrites. But she came out and said, sorry, the photo was a misstep. Even with something as innocent as that, you should disclose altering it. But in the history of image cropping and photo altering to tell a story, a lot of the reaction from picture agencies was hypocritical. So this is what is going on now. They are shaken and devastated, but they also come at these agencies and accuse them of hypocrisy to say, well, everybody alters their pictures. How dare you try and embarrass us and deem us as an untrustworthy source. So I feel like this is where, you know, the ugly side of what is going on here where this is how we deal with it and this is the reaction she's also now going to be continuing to release a picture with louis so we'll see what happens when that takes place and that she might be speaking about her health when it comes to her public engagements and this is the time that she's going to be used she's shaken and devastated william is shaken and devastated over the reaction over their conversations when it comes to their marriage when it comes to this alleged affair when it comes to everything that is going on with the family and i feel like them kind of coming at their agencies is not the right thing to take place what i also find interesting is that suddenly kate middleton has all of these close friends suddenly these close friends are everywhere to me, that is just bizarre and doesn't make any sense. Where did these friends come from? Because prior to any of this, I barely saw her hanging around with any of these close friends. Barely have seen any pictures of hers with her and these close friends throughout the time in, her, in, in the monarchy. I haven't seen them anywhere. But suddenly they've appeared out of nowhere, much like these Filipino nurses that appeared out of nowhere that we have yet to see. It is absolutely bizarre. It doesn't make any sense. Who are these close friends to Kate Middleton that are faceless, that we have not seen, that have come out the woodworks and are defending her left, right and centre her, and if anything making it far worse when it comes to her PR because first they tried to say that Meghan Markle and Harry leaving the family caused their stress as the friends and now these same friends are speaking for her and saying that you know she believes that the picture agencies acted in a form of hypocrisy 
and none of this makes Kit Middleton look good in any capacity. So what is going on? Because it doesn't really make any sense to me. I'm genuinely confused about who these friends are, what these PR moves are, because she keeps going in the wrong state. If she's shocked and devastated, it's mainly because of the actions of her husband and whatever's going on in this monarchy and whatever the hell's going on and where the hell this woman is. Um, I don't understand why she would be so shocked and devastated at the public's reaction. For nobody to see you and question your presence and then you release a fake picture that doesn't exist because the palace are refusing to release the unedited photo is extremely alarming. People are very worried for you. So this is why people are shocked and devastated. And the main crux of the question is, why are you even releasing a fake picture? Like, hello, I keep saying this in some of my videos because it doesn't make any sense. Why was that the only option to release a fake picture? Evidently, the reaction is going to be insane because people are genuinely shocked at what is going on so you know there's been always conversation about william and harry william and kate sorry and their relationship and whether it's genuine in the spanish press are saying that they were done a year ago and etc 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 my opinion is that if they don't go through with the public divorce they're going to be saving face for god knows how long but daily mail reporting that they are shocked and devastated kate middleton via the times is coming through with you know alleging hypocrisy to these agencies these agencies might respond. I don't think it was the right move to make and that she's set to speak out in these public engagements and that she's set to carry on with coming out with professional pictures of her family. A lot of topics in just one video that I need to get out to you guys. I just released a video, but there is so much going on, guys. I have to get it out to you guys ASAP because this story is rather insane subscribe to the channel comment down below give this video a thumbs up i would appreciate it if you guys do subscribe it's just one click comment down below send a super thanks if you guys wish to give this video a thumbs up just one click comment down below i love to hear what you guys think and say about everything ongoing Whew, it's an absolute social media whirlwind subscribe and i'll catch you guys soon